Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, what you see depends on where you're standing. Reality comes to us through filters. Our previous experience, our education, what we've been taught, our biases, prejudices, and our ideology can shape our perception of reality. You and I might see the same event, but we'll interpret it differently. Somebody I might not like can do something great and it'll be very hard for me to give him the same credit I would give to someone I like. So it's not unusual or unexpected for liberals and conservatives to interpret the same events differently, but at least we can agree that those events occurred. But sometimes We disagree on the facts. Conservatives will insist that an event actually happened that didn't, and you can't argue with them. Vladimir Putin steadfastly maintains that there are no Russian troops in Ukraine. Even as they come back to Russia in body bags, he says they weren't there. Even as videos are published showing them in Ukrainian towns and villages. He says they're not there. Even as their radio communications are made public, Putin continues his denial. It's obvious he's lying, but he stands by that lie. Putin would make a great Republican. Maybe that's why they love him so much. Donald Trump insists that he saw Muslim Americans celebrating on 9-11. Now there are reports that that happened, but there is no video. There was nothing on TV. The only way Donald Trump could have seen something like that is if he personally went to Muslim neighborhoods in New York City or Patterson. And we know he didn't do that. So Trump is lying. And what's especially heinous about this is that his comments are likely to incentivize violence against Muslims. His supporters say that he's different than all the other politicians. But he's willing to say anything no matter how much harm it might do for political gain. And the same can be said for Carly Fiorina who insists that she saw a video of a baby writhing in pain on a table while someone said, we have to keep the baby alive so we can harvest its brain. That video doesn't exist. But she insists she saw it even though it's been completely debunked. And even the Republicans in the House of Representatives had hearings based on these lies, which gives them credibility they don't deserve. And now, there are people in Colorado Springs, Colorado, who are dead because a demented individual might have actually believed that these lies are true. So what you have is conservatives manufacturing a reality that doesn't exist and not paying any attention at all to the harm that that's doing in the real world. Thanks for listening.